Hello everyone, and I am back with another Mascara Monday, and this Mascara Monday is with the Maybelline the Falsies Flared Mascara. can be found at Walmart or anywhere Maybelline is sold, even Ulta. So we're going to hop on the Ulta website and see what it says about the mascara. It says that the Falsies Flared Mascara volumizes lashes up and out for a flared false lash effect. The spoon curler brush with unique flexible wand lifts and separates flexible hold formula. And then when we go over to the how to use, it says for best results apply the spoon curler brush with the spoon side against the lashes and then flare outwards with the flat side from root to tip. Okay, So we are going to open it right up and get to applying it. And I have the shade um, very black. And it's not any like waterproof or anything. I don't like using waterproof mascara because then I can't get it off at the end of the night. All right, so it is out of its package now, and it just kind of looks like this. It has like little wings on it. It's kind of cute, purple. And then when you take out the wand, it has like this oval-looking thing, and then it's flat on one side. And so I'm guessing the spoon side is like the oval-looking side. So we are going to do what they said and just run that through the lashes first. Okay, that's how it's looking for now. And then it says use the flat side from root to tip. Okay, and that is what one coat looks like on this eye. And it just looks about average, nothing too great about the mascara for now, but I am going to do two coats and see if that matters. Alright, and this is the final look with the mascara. It did give a lot of volume, but not um, too much length. But it does look really nice, almost. It did fill in a lot of like the sparse areas in my lashes, and it did give it a nice curl. And so it is currently 1.55 in the afternoon, and I do work today at 4.30, so I will check in right before I go to work to see how the mascara is holding up to see if it's flaking or if it's smudged at all anywhere and I did not wear um, top eyeliner that way you would be able to see if it did smudge onto the eyeshadow as well and so I will be back right before I go to work to see how it's doing and then at the end of the night when I get home I will also do another check in and wrap up my final thoughts on it so see you then Alright, so it's about time for me to start heading off to work, and it is currently 3.54, so about two hours later, and it hasn't done anything yet, which is good, but I've just been inside editing some videos and watching YouTube. So for now, it's good. It's no flaking, no smudging, so I will be back at the end of the night to do a final check-in and tell you my thoughts. Alright, I am here at the end of the night with a check-in for the mascara, and it is currently 12.29 at night, and it didn't flake, and it didn't smudge, and it just looks basically how I did it at 2 in the afternoon, so about 10 and a half hours later. So, I really like this mascara. I'd probably give it like a 4.5 out of 5. Just because with the wand, I didn't like that it was kind of like a two-step thing. Like you have to use the the round side and then use the flat side. I think that's just kind of annoying. 
but I do like how it ended up um, like changing how the lashes look and everything. So I do really like it and it was kind of hard to put on the bottom lashes. I just used the um, more rounded side with it because I felt like if I used the flat side it would end up hitting my um, under eyes. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you.